Do I sound good? <laughs> oh. Do I sound better? Oh, I do actually. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, as Ryan mentioned, I am the lead project manager of Tiago Construction Company. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure by now you would have figured out that we need a crane to build AC4. And, uh, okay, uh, Fabi, I'm listening to you. So, so, yeah, we need a crane. And choosing a crane is not by any means an uh, easy job. There are a lot of criteria that we need to consider while choosing a crane. And uh, there are actually two most important criteria that uh, we need to consider. One is, as you can see, the gym length, the length from the pivot, or you can say the junction to the very end, and the capacity, the amount of weight a crane can lift, the maximum amount of weight a crane can lift. Then, yeah, actually, I did some uh, research and I came across a uh, few famous brands that are available in the market right now with the model, with their year of release, and the capacity, the maximum amount of weight they can, they can lift, and the gym length. So actually, I received a call uh, from our chief engineer, Mr. Daniel DeForce, sitting in the audience right there. And uh, he, he actually told me, like, the gym length and the capacity, the type of crane we need. So we actually have CCTV cameras in our office everywhere, so we recorded the conversation. We'd like to show you now. Actually, our chief engineer laid down the foundation, the criteria that we that, that we have to fulfill in order to get the crane. So, so the, uh, we filtered down the the big list uh, which you saw earlier to the small one, uh, and we crossed down that does not meet Mr. Daniel's uh, uh, criteria. He 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 said that he needs we need a crane which is uh, like not that old, which is not uh, before, which is not released before 2006, and the, the amount of weight it can lift it should be more than at least like 8,800, and the gym length should, should not be below 45 meters. So, yeah. The year is uh, the, the make, make year or the Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, mo the, brand, the, mo the brand, the model, the, the year, the capacity, and the gym length. When it was first put into production. Yeah. So, yeah, these are the suppliers we will be considering Comodil, Lever, and Cotain. Okay. So let me talk about let me talk about Comodel. Comodel is an Italian company. Fabio would be very yeah. Okay. So and yeah, these are the different lengths at which it can lift the different weights. As you can see, the the lesser the length, the highest the weight it can lift, and the the more the length, the lower the weight it can lift. And I'm curious. So technically, you know, it's a uh, smooth, right? So you carry too much. So what the problem cost? Sorry. So let's say the land less 40, right? Yep. The 40, suppose I put uh, the highest weight there. Yep. So, so what the, will it cost? What will be a problem? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show you this. Please. Okay, just, just take it, you know, if it's closer to the pivot, it's going to lift more weight. That's the maximum amount of so weight. Can suppose, lift. suppose, you know, you, you lift a large, a larger quantity than you know. Big, uh, yeah, then then we would be ne uh, needing. Uh, we 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 uh, we we'll stop moving. Sorry. That the machine will stop. A crane will stop moving, or it's dangerous. Yeah, of course, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Uh, dangerous uh, I know. Dangerous. You know how? What's what's? Uh, it will break. The, the the lever will break. Of course, if if you're. No, the lever will break. Then, then you know, see that then it's subject to human errors, right? Yeah. It's dangerous. Uh, I guess uh, you know there must be some uh, foolproof. 
mistake proof, right? It's kind of, you know, you cannot uh, carry yeah, around. Yeah, actually, actually, I understand what you're saying, but uh, I'm coming to that part later right, because right. you got the computer system which tells yeah, you. Let's yeah, don't test your technical. Uh, we also <laughs> have insurance, which is foolproof. No, that's. <laughs> 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 okay, so yeah, actually, yeah, I'm coming to the part right now. And uh, these are some of the features with Commodore CBR40H4 have. It has automatic integrated hydraulics. Then it has hydraulics, temperature, and pressure gauges, which uh, tells the driver the, the level of oil and the temperature inside the motor and also the pressure, I mean, the mass which, is, which the crane is lifting. And obviously, like all the cranes, this crane is also galvanized so that it doesn't get rusted. Then it has radio control so that the driver can have a conversation with people or the constructor workers outside. Then, yeah, one of the one of the uh, competitive advantage of this crane is that you don't have to do much. It's it's a self-erecting crane. You just press a button and it erect itself. Just, well, I'm, I'm trying to say something like an elevator, a lift. If you you know over capacity, just stop. You know, yeah. oh, you know, stop here. You, you, yeah, okay. People can get hurt. Yeah, no, no, you just stop. I mean, the, the intelligent enough, uh, the machines, the uh, lift is intelligent enough, but just, just stop. Yeah. You're going to see it's a uh, capacity that will control people, but it depends on how yeah, it's, it's, anyway, exactly it's more than that, and then stop. Start, it's not, you know, blinking. No, 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 no just yeah. stop, yeah. yeah so, stop. so here, the queen, as I'm asking, is the queen, maybe the same. Of course, we have this yeah. safety measure. Okay, then let's talk about lever. Uh, these are the different two different models of lever, and lever is actually a German company. And uh, yeah, these are actually the, the, the main difference between two, uh, these two models is the um, the length. The length of uh, lever 280ECH12 is obviously more than uh, 250ECB12, as you can see in the slide. And uh, the specs are uh, like very identical, and the, 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 the only difference, as you can see, is the jib length. And let's talk about the feature. The, one of the good things about uh, Lieber EC, EC model is that the, 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 the working condition inside the cabin is actually very good. Uh, the, the, um, the, uh, actually, according to the drivers, I read in the report that they said that uh, the, the seat inside the, inside the cabin is very comfortable, and it, it got a condition inside the cabin as well. And obviously, like all the cranes, they have radio control. And yeah, one of the good things is that they have remote control cable. So if, even if you are out of the crane, you can still control the cable through remote control. Then a fast assembly. Fast, um, it, can, it assembled itself very fast and it disassembled as well. So, and yeah, one of the things which Professor just spoke about is safety, this is what I want to talk about. The computer systems, uh, one of the things is as soon as it gets very close to the buildings, it, it automatically tells the driver that it's getting very close. And then again, it can, obviously it won't lift more than uh, the, its desire, it's, um, okay. the way that it is designed for. Then uh, Putin is again a German company. And these are uh, like uh, the only difference as you can see is the difference of weight. In the, this model is a, uh, can lift more than the, the, the putting MD two zero eight A. And the specs are almost identical as well. The, but however, the difference is between uh, the, there's a difference between capacity and trolley power. The power the trolley requires to operate. And again, it has a user-friendly user, user -friendly interface, it's secure, it has good hydraulics, and it has a go, uh, like gauges showing the temperature, oil, and pressure as well. Yeah, and one of the competitive advantage Putin have uh, over other, other crane is that it only needs one truck. It only needs one truck to transfer from one side to another stride. Side. Whereas the other cranes need like maybe two or three. They don't need one. They, at least they need two trucks to transfer from from one side to another side. So yeah, this is probably it from a part. Now, now I'd uh, like to ask Mr. Uh, Lee, who is our procurement analyst, to take over and he will be giving you an insight to the procurement strategies.